In this video, we're going to talk about how to administer mandated paid sick time in Dynamics GP. Mandated paid sick time has been around for a little while, but it's becoming more and more prevalent. State and local governments are requiring employers to offer paid sick time to all employees, part-time and full-time. The state and local mandated paid sick time laws are very similar. In this video, we're going to show you a common scenario for setting up the paid sick time plan. Let's go to the Leave Setup window and select our mandated paid sick time off plan. We have our mandated paid sick time off leave code set up to demonstrate the various mandated paid sick time plans that exist, such as California paid sick time from the state of California, the city of Seattle, city of Portland, city of San Diego, New York City, etc. This is set up as an accrual type and we're going to drill into our accrual schedule. Now you'll see that this particular window has a feature that enables us to easily configure the mandated paid sick time accruals. Most mandated paid sick time laws require that you pay an employee one hour of paid sick time for every 30 hours that they work. In this accrual schedule, we have an option to set it up for every X hours per calendar year. So as we set up our accrual schedule, we've selected that option. We have a per calendar year maximum set to 40 hours. And below, all we have to do is tell it for every 30 hours that the employee works, offer them one hour of paid sick time, and it will accrue that time for them. Throughout the rest of the accrual schedule and leave code setup, you will see that we can initiate our waiting period, which means that we can start accruing right away but not make the balance available to the employee for 90 days, which is the rule in most mandated paid sick time plans. We can also enforce any maximums on, as well as carryover limits, which vary from plan to plan. Below, we have our earned pay codes, which are hours that contribute towards that 30 hour threshold, as well as the pay code that's used to take time from the paid sick time plan. Once we set this up, we can assign it to an employee. And as you can see, we have it set up for Adam Barr, but not much really changes from employee to employee. So it's very easy setup. We can see some employee specific information on the right hand side of the screen. Now, all we have to do is process payroll and let the system do the work for us, and it will calculate how much time the employee accrues each pay period. We can also view detailed information about this employee and their paid sick time off plan as we look at their leave summary. We can also drill into individual transactions. As you can see, this employee has earned three hours in the last pay period, so they must have worked 90 some hours, and they have a balance remaining of three hours, which can also be displayed on the employee's pay stub. Thanks for watching.